Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And for you newbies out there just tuning in, um, hi and welcome. Um, so this week you are not getting not one, not two, but three YouTube videos because I have been a very, very bad YouTuber in that I did not share my BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of September, um, and I did not do it for October because I was right in the middle of my Galloween series um, for Halloween. Um, and although it is not October, I thought we could open my uh, October box because I have not uh, unboxed that yet. Uh, so I could give you guys my thoughts and chit chat with you. Um, if you guys have not already, hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more and let's jump into that video. All right guys, so here she is for the month of October. Let's go ahead and pop her open. I'm going to, and by the way, I have not opened any of these products and I have not tested them yet. So we are going to be testing them on my face later. Um, but here is the card. So this month's theme is called Spellbound. It's not really Halloween anymore, but I'm sure I will love the product. So I'm going to keep that out so I can read you guys a little bit about each product. So let's check out the very first thing in the box. I see a bunch of goodies and I'm pretty pumped about it. So the first thing I'm going to reach in for in the box is this Dr. Brandt Pore Dermabrasion Pore Perfecting Exfoliator. It says it helps refine the appearance of pores. Deep cleans pores, help smooth the appearance of skin texture. Now I have received um, Dr. Brandt in the past in BoxyCharm, but it was their age-defying uh, microdermabrasion. So I'm interested to try this because I do deal with like pore issues, blackheads and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really curious as to how that works. Um, it looks like that is originally $58, 60 bucks. Holy crap. Um, yeah, that pretty much pays for the box in itself. Um, so let's move on. I see this, which I'm super excited about. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed Prochesco. Prochesco. I can't read. Uh, pop. So is that, I guess that's the name of the color. So let's open the box. I've never uh, tried any of Becca's highlighters, so I'm really, really excited. Look at that packaging, it's so heavy. I know people talk about packaging a lot on YouTube and what have you, but it is. It feels very expensive, it's very heavy, and it has a mirror. I was not expecting it to have a mirror. That's really, really cool. I'm gonna take this little guy out. It's so sparkly. Now, normally I don't really care for highlighters that have a lot of glitter. This does look like it has quite a bit of glitter and I'm just gonna do a, holy crap. Oh my God, yes. I wanna put that on my face so bad, but I'm afraid that's gonna be too dark on my skin, but we shall see. Now this typically retails for $38, which Honestly, for that pigment, I feel like that's really, really worth it because that color payoff, though, you're not going to be like digging in the pan. This will last you quite a long time. So I'm definitely excited about that. Now, the next thing in the box that we have, this is from Dirty Little Secret and an eyeshadow crayon, um, and it is in the shade illusion let's open the box shall we the box is really really cute Oops, i got it upside down so the box is really cute i like that with polka dots now i'm kind of iffy about eyeshadow crowns because i don't really like to use them but we'll see how this works this looks really pretty it's kind of a, a nudie shimmery color Ooh, so that is the shade right there but it also has a little bit of metallic reflect in it but it's a really, really nice nudie pink. It looks like it has a little bit of gold metallic in there. See how it shifts a little bit and kind of matches in with the gold. I feel like Spellbound is very appropriate for these shades because they just kind of, I don't know, they kind of look mystical and magical. So the next product I have in the box is from Tarte and I love Tarte Cosmetics. I have talked about Tarte a awful lot on my channel. Uh, because I just think they're a great brand. So the packaging is super cute. Look at that. 
Um, I love, it's called the lip paint. So that's very appropriate with the paint splatter on there. Um, and this is in the shade Get It. Another nude. You can never have too many nudes in my opinion, but this one's really pretty. Ooh, so it's a little bit watery. I don't know how I feel about that. And it may just need a good shake. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you this swatch. I like the color a lot. It's very peach and I like those shades very, very much. Um, I'm down with that. And I don't really have a lipstick that is quite that, you know, orangey peach. So I feel like that's gonna go very, very well. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit and see if that doesn't improve because it was real watery when I put that on. So we'll have to see how it dries down, but I'm gonna do one more swatch. Okay, so that's a not as watery. So I think um, if you do have BoxyCharm or if you have yet to do your unboxing or have problems with this liquid lipstick, I would say um, shake it up really good. Um, see, that swatch looks a little bit better. Um, but yeah, it was not as watery as when I first tried to swatch it. So we'll see how that looks once it's dried it down. Um, so that typically retails for $20, which it's very, very pigmented. I, I will say that I think this is also worth the money just because it is so pigmented, but we will have to see how the formula wears on my lips. Um, because it looks like, see this one's dried down a little bit, but this looks like it is quite matte. Um, so we'll see if it's very drying on the lips. I may say otherwise, um, but I will have to let you know. The last thing in the box is this guy right here. This is from, holy crap, I'm Southern. And yeah, this is in Francais. Um, it is called, I think, a Bleu. But it looks like that. Um, and it is, I think, oh, it's a lip liner. To go with the lipstick and this is in the shade spice so let's do a little swatchy swatch of that right there it's pretty creamy for the most part I think it's a little dark um, for our base color here I don't really know how that's going to look I might try to do sort of an ombre lip deal and do the light in the center and do the dark on the outside because I feel like that I don't know I don't know how that combo is gonna work I'm pretty impressed with that box um, I feel like we got some really good stuff and I really really like this color combination I don't feel like it's very fall appropriate I feel like this is more what you would sort of wear in the spring but it's very natural and as a mom I don't always like to wear like super glammed up makeup all the time I mean I have told you guys before, I love my glam makeup, don't get me wrong. However, um, most of the time when I am at home with my husband and my daughter, most of the time I either go bare face or I have like basically no makeup on. So I feel like this will be very nice, a nice little change and the lip color will definitely spice it up a little bit and add a little bit of color. So let's test that out on my face. Okay, so don't kill me, but I'm gonna have to get a little bit creative when applying this highlight because unfortunately, I have not washed my brushes. We're gonna be using this guy <laughs> for the highlight. I'm gonna get really creative. Let us apply this highlight and see what it looks like. I'm just super excited, aren't you? And actually, it's not quite as dark as I thought it was going to be. Because in the pan, it looks quite dark in comparison to my pale, pale skin. So I was a little bit nervous. That is really pretty. Not near as dark as I thought it was going to be. I'm going to apply the eye crayon but before I do that I'm going to add a little bit of a transition shade so it is not very harsh but now I'm going to take that little I want to I keep wanting to call it an eyeshadow chubby and that's not what it is that's a different brand but anyway I'm going to apply that to my eyelid Very pretty. I feel like this would be awesome in the inner corner if you added that to a makeup look. 
would even be an awesome eyeshadow base. Bit like that. Or even like a cream highlight. This would be even better for that. Because it's very, very light. It's not incredibly sticky. And I feel like for paler people like myself, this would be very, very pretty. Now for the lips, I'm going to apply that lip liner and like I said, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do like an ombre lip thing. But it's not near as creamy when you're applying it to your lips. You kind of have to work with it a little bit. I feel like I'm scraping the crap out of my lips, but I like the color and it is quite pigmented. So now to, I'm going to shake this up one more time, right, apply it. That is really pretty. I was very unsure about this color combination just because when I swatched it on my skin, it just looks so much darker than when you apply the lip liner on the lips. And it looks very, very nice and pretty natural. Um, so if you just kind of, you know, want to go and kind of wear more minimalistic, glowy makeup, I would say that this is definitely the box for you. I'm pretty thrilled with it actually. I'm kind of sad I can't test this for you guys um, on camera, but that would be a little bit hard to do. Uh, so I will have to let you know how I like this product. I may put it in a monthly favorite, but I really, really enjoyed this month's box. Um, I do like this uh, liquid lip. It doesn't feel, now that it's had a chance to dry down, it's, it's matte, but it doesn't really feel overly drying. It is a little sticky, and as you guys know, I really don't care for sticky lip products, but it's not overly sticky to the point where I can't stand it on my lips. So I really, really, really like this color. Um, I also am going to love this highlight. Um, it is gorgeous and super, super pigmented. I'm sorry my camera is not really doing it justice, but it is like hella glowy. <laughs> as for the eyeshadow crayon, um, this was just kind of okay. It wasn't really a hit and it definitely wasn't really a miss. I will most definitely be using this for some things, um, but overall not a bad product. The only thing in the box that I really kind of didn't care for was the lip liner. I love the color, but it is so drying, like tr trying to get that over your lips and I just felt like it was painful. It wasn't near as creamy as I would want it to be but you know, it's a $5 lip liner. So yeah, overall, I think this box was definitely a hit for me. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm honestly constantly impressed by BoxyCharm because it seems like every month they get better and better um, with their boxes, whether that is packaging, whether that is the different brands that are included. I really feel like um, out of all the beauty subscription services, if you're interested in that, I feel like BoxyCharm is definitely one of the best ones that you can get. Um, it is $21 a month if you choose to do month to month. They do have other um, package deals on their website. So if you go onto the website, which I will be linking in the description box below, you can get a little bit more information. I do have a link listed in the description box um, if you would like to subscribe it through me. Um, it is affiliated with BoxyCharm, so you can choose to use it or not. The choice is yours. I am not forcing anybody. Um, but if you do choose to use it, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So that is all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And I also hope that if you're into subscription services, you will consider using BoxyCharm. They are a fantastic service and I highly, highly recommend them. So thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to know when a video goes live from me. I usually upload on Tuesdays and Fridays and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.